morning fellas it's going on nine o'clock on saturday god what is it september i don't know what the date is yeah we're about 85 in the garage and it's going to be a john Kerry day but with a little wind out here it's cool cooling down uh this weekend labor day weekend and uh we we're going to be not even hit the triple digits this weekend at all uh, last night we were down in the 70s so uh haven't done anything on the camaro except put the hood on i still gotta we gotta line it up a little bit better but we put it on so we can make room in the garage uh <clears throat> this part's for roger uh what is he let's see roger roger uh, Fireman 164. So this is for him. Here are the backup lights, Roger. And this lip looks like it's about an eighth of an inch or so. Sticking out around. So if that's what you needed. I had these out because I'm getting ready to work on them. So if that's what you needed, that's uh, this is the right hand one, and basically you can see that lip. It's about an eighth of an inch, maybe three sixteenths, if you look at it. So, <clears throat> also Roger, going through my part stash, these are extension cable, which I don't need because I got the Willwood brakes on. Uh, some Spectre clamps and extra set of tail lights because I have Willwood uh, brake cables right there for the for the brakes. Uh, it's been a couple weeks since I made a video, and to be honest with you, nothing's gone on on the car uh, with everything that's going on in the house right now. Uh, the car has been put on back burner, you know, happy wife, happy life type thing. So let's go in the house. Uh, it's going to be a little hard to see. It's dark in here. But as you can see, all the, all the uh, extra stuff was picked up by the Vietnam Veterans of America, our donated stuff. The only thing that's left in here are the two couches, and they are going into the garage. Uh, started painting and cutting in. The windows are masked up. Uh, the DVD shelf is right there, and the wife's china hutch is right there. Okay, now we'll go upstairs. <clears throat> and this is what I'm doing today, because we got to get the game room cleaned up. Wife wants, to, she's so panicking that it's not going to get done by the holidays. The floors are done. Get some touch up in that corner in the closet. Right there. That's the flooring we used. Got to clean the baseboards up and uh, get ready to paint them. <clears throat> and uh, on both rooms, and then we can start moving stuff back in here and hanging the drapes back up. We still got a touch up on it, as you can see, blue tape on the walls. So, but that's where we're at today. But that's what I'm doing today. Uh, once we get these, we're on a timeline, or time crunch. The new carpet comes in the living room on the 23rd of September. So, and we want to get, uh, figure the paint the living room is going to take me two days to finish it up. And I got to pull the carpeting out and everything else. So, 
because I told them they would come in with a bare floor and just lay pad and carpet. So that's where we're at in this room here. Like I said, it's pretty dark in here. I don't know if you make out anything, but we got both the windows taped up. And so the car has to be put on the back burner. Again, the old favorite expression, happy wife, happy life. And uh, she's wants this done by the holidays. So that's where I'm at. So Roger, I hope that helps you on the backup lights. And uh, hopefully I get back out here on this. Uh, if I get those rooms done this weekend and get everything moved back in them and the curtains hung and everything else, which I'm hoping to, then we're going to go back to the old scenario of during the week we'll be on the house and then the weekend we'll be on the car. We'll get the hood lined back up and the panels lined back up and then uh, start working on this again. Uh, the way it's working down, I don't think I'm going to be able to paint it. Then again, we'll have to see. And you got a 30 to a 45 day window in the fall to paint it. It's almost 60 plus days in the summer to do it, or in the spring to do it. So, so we'll see. So that's where I'm at. Hope you guys all have a great Labor Day weekend, Greg. I hope everything works out for your weekend out there in Kansas City. Wish I could have been there, but uh, I got obligations on right on Tuesday that couldn't have let me go out there this weekend. So, you guys have a great Labor Day weekend. Later. Mm -hmm.